Meghan Markle's ticking time bomb lifestyle brand could lead to the Sussex title removal finally. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor, and oh my goodness, we've talked a little bit about this before, but I really wanted to take some time to focus on this new who brand of hers. I'm talking about Flamingo Estate. Oh wait, no, sorry, it's the American something orchard. I don't know, Flamingo Estate. Let's call it Flamingo Estate. You know why? Because she's gonna hate that because that's the original brand she's trying to mimic. And so I refuse to say American Royal Orchard and so should you. Let's call it Meghan Markle's Flamingo Estate because then she doesn't get the press and just like everybody else out there who's called her out for it, we can really piss her off because look, what she's doing here is despicable. This is all just a cash grab to, to try to get rich people to overpay for products and uh, I'm sick of it. Megan, no, I see what you're doing. You want to cash in as quick as you can, build up this brand, this lifestyle brand of dummies who are just going to support you as a victim and buy expensive virgin olive oils and soaps and dumb crap and I'm sick of it. And the Royal Palace should be too because obviously and now that we've learned what she's going to be selling and everything else, uh she they should not be supporting this. This has nothing to do with anything entrepreneurial or sort of charitable rather. Uh and uh they need to do something. So here it is. The new lifestyle business is viewed as a potential ticking time bomb for the royal family and might even trigger uh, cutting off her and Prince Harry's royal titles. Duchess announced the launch of her new lifestyle brand, which I'm going to call uh, Flamingo Estate, earlier this month, even though she doesn't own that. It's a Flamingo Orchard. Let's call it the Flamingo Orchard. That way it's even clearer. She, la she launched Flamingo Orchard earlier this month, pulling in over 570,000 followers before the actual site even went live. Uh, that's not a lot. <laughs> that's not a lot given how big she supposedly is. The brand is thought to weave thought, uh, together lifestyle cooking content, likely tying in with Megan's upcoming Netflix cooking show. Ooh, are you excited for cooking with Megan? Ooh, my goodness. I can't think of a worse thing I'd rather watch. Uh, jams, marmalades, and other home decor products. Reports have suggested that the Duchess hopes to share her Flamingo Orchard vision. We're making it a thing. It's now hashtag Flamingo Orchard. Spread the word. We got live brows, and now we're doing Flamingo Orchard because it's a nice combo and it's a nice diss because she's trying to copy Flamingo Estate. The Flamingo Orchard vision online and possibly a book format. Of course, she's going to sell cookbooks. However, the debut of her brand seems to have ruffled some regal feathers. Tom Bauer argues that the royals may perceive it as a risk against Britain's most precious brand, the royal family, as they should. Writing to the Daily Mail, Bauer said, it also appears the project has been rushed. Megan has not yet appointed a chief executive to manage the business. Megan take charge of building the Sussex brand in America. It believes her ambitions have led to a downgrade of her and Prince Harry's presence on the Buckingham Palace website. Once prominently displayed as the Duke and Duchess, now they share a succinct joint bio. But Bauer also claimed it's been suggested that the recent update on the royal family's website could be the first step towards taking the titles. For Charles, that will be difficult, but as the king and Kate recover from their illnesses and rebuild the institution, it is a necessary step to protect the sanctity of Britain's most precious brand, the royal family itself. Removing a royal title is a complicated process and will require an act of parliament before the king can strip the titled aristocrats of their positions, uh, but could be very doable now. Sussex uh, title is a very emotional link to Queen Elizabeth, who bestowed it on Prince Harry to com commemorate his wedding in 2018. Meghan unveiled the initial details of her new venture on Instagram, speculation as a possible cookery show, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's really sad. The Queen was like, clearly rooting for this couple. I, I think liked them in the beginning. Meghan knew exactly what she's doing. I've spoken to a lot of people now, and I'm hoping to get some of them more on the record, but they, they acknowledge she always knew what was going on, what was obsessed with royals, had books on royals. Uh, and so, yeah, this is just sad because the queen did bestow that title and an emotional link to the queen. And now they got the title and then they jetted out and now they keep using the title while not doing what the queen assumed they would do with the title, which is be part of the royal family. They pretty much disowned the royal family. And now why did they disown the royal family? To sell makeup and body lotions through Flamingo Orchard, yoga mats, lavender sachets, and dog shampoo. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's, so it's, it's goop, but more organic and like uh, Montecito. It's like Montecito goop. 
Uh, and again, if you're unfamiliar, Flamingo Estate is Can something that already exists. Organic yogurt with These... high quality harmful pesticides save the world? Can yogurt teach us to be better people with that, a deeper appreciation the, uh, of the oh, earth? The, and I each was other. like, what is happening? Uh, That's a lot go to away. Ask of yogurt. Go, go away! But if it's a really good Why am I on a Verizon site? Could save you from oh, I can't stand these these uh, these ads. Sorry, Flamingo Estate. There it is. Tomato heirloom candles, extra virgin, virgin olive oil, exfoliating peppermint soap brick. Uh, this is the kind of stuff you get here. Now, look, whatever. Some of it's probably uh, nice, and it is what it is. But it's all insanely expensive. I haven't even looked. Let's pick an item here and see how much something costs. Let's look up this. $48 for olive oil. Are you nuts? Are you effing nuts? $80 for a fruit snack? What on earth planet am I spending 80 bucks for a juicy strawberry spicy key lime squeeze? Anyway, this is the brand she wanted to emulate. Now, this has been coming through Puck, which is a really good insider uh, newsletter and uh, resource. And uh, this is the reality. I want you. I, want, I always want to repeat this so we all really reiterate it. Flamingo Estate, the def decadent lifestyle accoutrements company inspired by the fabulous Spanish-style L.A. home of Richard Christensen and his partner Aaron Carvey, have become the status symbol du jour for a certain kind of post-goop California in-crowd. You know, this sort of milieu where unironic, limited-edition raw honey collaborations with Juliana Moore, Will Ferrell, and LeBron James cost $250 a jar. People regularly guffaw over $42 bar, bars of soap and $80 dried strawberries I just showed you. It's a world where Glossier founder Emily Weiss throws her baby shower and no one, no one is more associated with this fever dream than Meghan Markle, whom I heard used a lifestyle company as an inspiration. Inspiration is perhaps a generous term since Margot appears to be all but trying to recreate Flamingo Estate herself after a potential partnership fell through. Indeed, the trademark trademark applications she filed on March 9th mentioned candles, nut butters, dried fruits, vegetables, and kits comprised of edible oils, fats, spreads, butters, blah, blah, blah. Also, cosmetic brushes, yoga mats, a number of other wellness items. Earlier this week, a friend said the brand looks like what happens when you go to dinner at Flamingo Estate and aren't invited back. Ouch! Ouch! It was a business she was trying to be a part of, a source said of Markle, who supposedly visited the estate after being introduced to the property by another famous resident, not Oprah. Multiple in-person meetings with the Flamingo Estate. I'm told Markle expressed a desire to come on as an active partner, apparently, but they didn't want one, of course. Markle and because they would be ter she's terrible for the brand. Apparently, Markle and Harry became such big fans they displayed Flamingo State products in their home. Uh, and uh, a clip uh, of Harry promoting New Zealand eco friendly product from a study, I guess, when it was in the background when he was doing one of the, his studies. Uh, sorry, the eco project. There was a Flamingo State book. Ultimately, the state realized they didn't want to take the business in that direction. Person added, Christensen was indeed seeking investments. He raised seven point five million last year. I hear he's fundraising again. Partnership never came to fruition, but by the time it fell through, I'm told Markle had reviewed relevant company information that any potential investor would be privy to and had intimate knowledge of the business. So I want you to really process this. She wanted to do this business, which I'm calling now, uh, sorry, this is Flamingo Estate, a real business that has been picking up steam, does well in California, trying to get investors. She then went and said, well, I want to be a partner. Okay, great, let's talk. She got to see things about the business. They don't want her to be a partner. She decides to then promote her own brand, create her own brand, file her own trademarks, et cetera. This is troubling, man. This is troubling. So she's stealing this brand. And now, as if it couldn't get worse, she's getting into pet products, which I think it's uh, Catherine's brother. Correct me if I'm wrong. Steph filled me in, trying to verify my notes here. Catherine's brother, I believe... Yeah, her brother's business. Uh, Princess Wales James owns his own high-end dog food called Hello Ella. So now, of course, while Catherine's, you know, dealing with her cancer diagnosis, Meghan Markle's slyly trying to figure out how to compete with his, her brother to create dog treats and chicken feed. What is going on here? She will sell her soul. She will do anything for cash. This is so pathetic. I thought you're this like 
person of charitable feminism, yada, yada. Now you're just trying to market it yourself and profit by putting your name on brands that you can own and monetize on tremendously. This is the ultimate grift. This is the high end grift. She wants to grift the millionaires. She's like, screw Andy, Steph, and all these idiots on YouTube. I'm going to go grift the millionaires now. The billionaires, they're all going to buy my spice strawberries. This is sickening. And this goes against everything the queen bestowed upon her when she had that title. And that's why I do agree with this assessment. Even though we have no proof and it's a long way away, I think this is a ticking time bomb. And at a certain point, this brand, no matter how successful it is, is not going to help her keep it. Uh, and she wants to create herself as a big, you know, entrepreneurial vision person where she can then say, well, she doesn't need it because now she has her own thing. This is all the plan. And no, we will not allow it to just go that way, Megan. Let's try to keep it honest. You're stealing Flamingo Estate. So your Flamingo Orchard is nonsense and your brand's not taken off like you would. And now your stock's fallen so much due to Catherine's diagnosis. No one wants to have anything to do with you. So this is shameful, shameful, shameful. What do you think? If you haven't already, subscribe here to Popcorn Palace. Hit that button for all alerts. Uh, smash the, th the, the thumbs up as well and leave your comments down below. Are you as annoyed as I am? I want to hear what you think. Tell me what you think. And again, it's now forever Flamingo Orchard. That's what I'm calling her new business. I will not call it what it actually is. I don't even remember what it is. What a terrible name.